All right, hello, 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 guys. This is your Trading Crypto Channel coming at you. It's May 15th, 2022. Uh, this is a Sunday wrap-up. Uh, we're basically concluding one of the toughest weeks in crypto a lot of us have had. I would put this up there with the COVID crash. Um, a lot has, you know, is riding on this weekly close. Uh, we want us to close above 29, really 30 preferably. Um, it's this Fibonacci level. It's also, we've been going sideways, for what I've been saying, for a year and a half. It's been a very volatile accumulation zone, in my opinion. And I think there's a very good chance that we come up. And at the very least, we'll have a dead cat bounce or something to this previous line of support. Possibly go back down to retest this level in or 20K. But, um, uh, so in Bitcoin's history, it's never um, retested its previous high like that. So that would be a less of a chance to happen. Um, but this cycle has been different, so you just have to keep that in mind. But I think, uh, you know, a lot of the selling pressure came from Luna, obviously. Um, a lot of it came from the Fed. Um, there's just been a lot of extraneous factors um, that kept the Bitcoin price somewhat suppressed. It didn't perform quite as well this cycle. We, uh, You know, I'm kind of, you know, I... <laughs> I think that it's probably a lengthened cycle, like some people are saying. It's funny that the people that were calling for lengthening cycles are now saying it's not, and the people that were saying it's not now are. You know, the the face uh, the space is so fickle right now; it's really annoying. Um, but yeah, to come down to the 20k level, that would be the 4.28 bit or 0.78 Fibonacci extension. It's uh, less likely. Uh, the 0.618 is the more common um, extension. As we can see here, on the Fib extension, so it's just it's just a uh, much more much more likely that 26, 20, 25, 26 was the bottom. I believe it wicked you know, twenty five something, or maybe even twenty four. Um, yeah, you know, it, it, you know, it's pretty pretty tough pretty tough move. I mean, if you're hodling and you're hodling the right positions, and that's a big thing. Like this is a good time to probably go through your portfolio, look for the stuff that you don't believe in, you know, consolidate stuff into layer ones is what I'm doing. Uh, stuff like, like Link, I don't know if Link's really a layer one, it's an Oracle, but, um, yeah, just for example, you know, Ethereum, and, uh, you know, uh, I guess, uh, uh, Cosmos, and Solana, and AVAX, maybe, I'm not really a big fan of AVAX personally, but, uh, just looking at coins like Cardano, like these the stuff that I believe in heavily, I'm going harder in. So it's a good time to probably get in to some of those projects, or at least taking your um, taking your positions that are in you know lesser coins. So we'll see what happens. So again, the, week, the weekly close is very important. If we close like in twenty at twenty seven or twenty eight today and we hold below this, there's a very good chance we go down to 20 or something. And I hate to say it, but it is what it is. Um, but ultimately, the fear and greed index is completely maxed out. Um, I believe we printed it at 9 yesterday or two, you know, two days ago, and that was the lowest we've seen since the pandemic crash. I believe it's actually maybe the lowest ever. I think 8 was maybe, yeah, I think 8 was the lowest ever. Um, so, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, but, you know, regardless, these are incredible levels to accumulate. We're, like, below um, a lot of key indicators. The Gaussian channel, we're, like, in there. Um, we're, you know, below a lot of moving averages. This is just, this is when you can make money. Like, yeah, you make money in the bull run, but you really kind of, can get yourself set up in good positions as long as you believe in the projects and they are good projects. Those are the ones that can fly. And, uh, you know, the money has stopped coming into the retail. There's no more stimming checks. People are struggling, I think, a little bit more than people are realizing um, financially. Supposedly, what, two or three Americans only have like 500 bucks in their accounts or something like that. There's some kind of a statistic in that way. It's like people just don't have the money right now, um, but mostly it's I mean institutions buying, buying all of this, and once uh, the stock market's sitting in around seventy percent cash, so once once this whole uh, correction ends in the stock market, it's going to start coming into all all these spaces, 
and uh, and the Fed is still printing money. Like they're just not giving it to the you know you know you know us. They're giving it to Ukraine, and they're giving it. You know, there's a big disconnect. The, the Fed wants to tighten uh, you know, people like us, and they don't want us to get getting ahead and getting rich. But meanwhile, they're giving money away to other countries for war. So it's it's really insane, and I, I don't really understand. But either way, they're printing all this money for them. Inflation isn't going to ever go away. They're trying to stop it a little bit, but it's not going to go away. So therefore, we need an inflation hedge, and that is Bitcoin. Uh, gold has been a terrible performer. Bitcoin still is a better performer performance in comparison. So take that as you will. Um, I've actually gotten pretty heavy into mining, and uh, I plan to start posting uh, videos about my mining rigs here pretty soon. I'm, I'm mining on nice hash and T Rex. Um, not making a ton of money. I actually am mining helium as well. Um, my city that I'm living in, it's you, you can get up to three bucks a day, I think, on those things. But I'm, I'm getting maybe a dollar, dollar fifty, sometimes two. But also, mining rewards are down right now because of the markets and they have, the algorithms readjust. Um, but one of my rigs was making you know fifteen dollars a day. It's making ten dollars, eight, nine dollars a day right now. The other one's similar. It was making twelve, fifteen. Now it's making eight. So, but uh, yeah, I plan on doing little uh, videos about that. They just uh, did a uh, LHR unlock on a bunch of the video cards that have been suppressed by NVIDIA. So there's some opportunity to, to get some cheaper the cards are cheaper now. So if you're trying, if you're kind of a tech geek and you don't mind building computers. Maybe you look into GPUs, you can always sell them afterwards. Um, but yeah, something to something to look into while you know it's, it's a way to accumulate without having to buy with your bank account, you're buying with your electricity, but you know it, it does cause I would say about one seventh of your profit will be going into your electricity for sure. So something to look into. Um, also the of course the stocks, the digital Currency stock, I guess the um, blockchain stocks have just been gotten completely ripped apart. So, if you're only in stocks, maybe look into some of those Mara, Riot, um, Hive. It's a handful of them. Maybe just might be worth looking into those. And, um, you know, you can still buy Bitcoin, GBTC, I think, and GGF, Grayscale, Grayscale's uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So, there's, there's ways to uh, get exposure. Um, yeah. But, yeah, let's, let's zoom just to show you guys. I mean, this is the first cycle. Well, we don't have that much price data to really go off of, but this is the cycle before last. And obviously, when once we left. get in here yeah, once once we left uh, the all-time high here we came back down and retested it once here and then it was off to the races right so it never came back I mean the, the, the top after after that top I mean it didn't come anywhere close to it really um, like Within you know fifty percent. Let's do, actually let's see the actual percentage down. It went. Let's see. I'm a little bit jittery right now. I'm on a bunch of medicines, so right, let's see. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Yeah, from all right. Just to see the percentage of like where the last bear mark was from last high. Yeah, it was like 60% from bear market low. If it had gone any further down. Let's just see like what's, you know, how far away are we from this. If it's similar, that would be interesting. Alright. And I bet it's not no 60%. It's 30%, 26%. So, like, we're not far up. Um, 
away at all from 20k, which is interesting. You know, it doesn't seem like we will. Like again, like a lot of it depends on this weekly close. We can get a nice wick, and we close above into 30s. I think we're kind of safe, um, assuming that we don't go to like a world war with you know China or something like that. But if we do close below, there's a good chance we go down to 20k. And like I was looking at the previous cycle just now, and it looked like we we actually kind of when we broke that all-time high, we kind of stuck around it for a little longer with this. This year we kept. This cycle, we went straight through it. We didn't create any support. So I could see that being an issue. Maybe we need to come back down here, create some support, and go back up. I mean, honestly, you should be so lucky if you get prices down there again. <laughs> uh, but it would it would break structure pretty hard. I, I don't think it will. If it does, it's not going to do it for long. So hmm, something to think about. Um, yeah, also with the, my mining rigs, I, I really didn't want to start focusing more on that. I want to start posting videos, kind of like how I put them together. Like, I, I just put a card in one of them, and I had to get a special piece for the PCI E slot. And, uh, it kind of shows you, you know, inner workings, um, how to put these things, these things together. It's not terribly complicated, but just make sure you're safe and electric, electricity is turned off and you're using surge protectors. I'm in an older place and I, I blew a card, I blew a mother bo motherboard because I wasn't using surge protectors because the electricity in here is not reliable, I guess you could say. I don't know what it does, but it just blows things up. So you have to use surge protectors. Um, yeah, um, it, again, it all depends on the weekly close. We want, we want to stay above 30k, 29 Whereas we go down to 28 or something, that's really bad. So, uh, But as far as, I mean, if we want to look at, like, uh, other coins and portfolios, um, I mean, that's what I should start focusing on. I'm trying to kind of get an idea of, like, what I should do with this channel. Because right now I feel it's a really good time to um, build a channel, kind of like while we're in this bearish zone. I didn't want to build it while everything was hype, and I was I was getting too excited myself, and I was making some bad decisions, like not taking profits, and I want to like come at this at a level head, and we'll see we'll see how this all goes. Um, let's let's take a look. I just want to dashboard some of the some of the coins I watch. Um, yeah, I'm mean, using Nice Hash, and apparently has a decent exchange, so I might actually start. Um, using that to exchange. Um, but yeah, XRP got completely pummeled. Uh, Sand, Metaverse, I think that will do well. I don't mess with Phantom at all. Uh, I'm kind of a big proponent, like, if, if projects have stupid names, uh, or like, if they just, if, if the stuff on their ecosystem, like, I think, I think one of their things is called Spooky or Spooky Swap, I don't know what it is. It's just like, that sounds stupid. It's childish. It doesn't, I, I think the industry is about to I think we've been in the adolescent years. It's been, been very volatile. Um, we're, it's no longer like a, you know, crypto space is no longer like a kid. I would say it's been like an adolescent. We're about to go into adulthood. We need to like, you need to look at projects that actually have use case, actually are going to be doing something for the space. XRP, I don't know what it is, how it's going to, I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know how it's going to like move forward. The SEC case has completely just kept this coin from performing. So that's got to end. Once that ends, maybe this coin goes crazy. It is what the banks are supposedly using for remittance or going to be. Litecoin is essentially a dead project. I mean, it's, it, it's attached to Bitcoin. I don't think it'll completely ever go away, but it's not. Where is its use case? Um, last cycle, uh, Bitcoin got really expensive to send transactions, and Litecoin was faster and cheaper. So if Bitcoin gets really hype and starts getting too expensive, I think that's when Litecoin would probably start maybe making moves and maybe the Litecoin Foundation would start making moves. Um, uh, let's see, Gala Games, that's a gaming metaverse token. I think it's smart to have a portfolio of gaming tokens. I think those will, once the gaming community embraces crypto, which is inevitable, they fought it for some reason on this last cycle, but I think that's because of their bitterness towards the towards the prices of video cards. And I think, 
I don't know. They just don't want the NFT stuff, or they don't want they don't want the in-game uh, weapons and stuff to go on the blockchain, which is insane. Because don't you want that to be preserved and unique? So, yeah. ADA Cardano. I mean, that's third generation smart contract. I think it's going to do great. Charles Hoskinson is an OG. I think he's he's working for the greater good. Uh, Ravencoin. I hold some. I don't really know. Uh, you know, some people are mining it and such. I don't know. Dogecoin. I, I just don't like meme coins. It's childish. It's child's play. But it's uh, related to Twitter and Elon. But Elon just rescinded his Twitter thing. So, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm not not a proponent. Ethereum is solid. Ethereum is gold. Uh, I lost a lot of money on that dip with uh, that's some margin margin trades and even at one x margin like I got I lost some money so like you just just spot trade. <laughs> I mean if you're going on margin trade just definitely know what you're doing. You realize you can lose it all even in a one x or two x trade. It's sad but true. I mean one x if you're smart you shouldn't be able to. I think I had like some 1.5 X's, 1.75, which is a big difference between 1 X and 1.5, 1.75. Uh, let's see. Stacks. I think that's data. You know, what's the point of blockchain, really? You gotta think about it. It's, it's about data transparency. It's about uh, an inflation hedge. It's about, you know, Accountability, you know, like you gotta think about which which projects are gonna help humanity. Right? That's Uniswap is a use case, you know, that's a, a decentralized exchange that most people use. I use it. Uh, utility wise, Uni is great, you know. Uh, HBAR, I believe it's also data preservation. Uh, not a hu uh, it, it's not your typical crypto. It uses a different kind of blockchain stuff. I don't know. Uh, Chili's is kind of like a sports game thing. Not familiar. I have some, but I don't really know exactly what it is. Loop Ring, not very familiar. Curve, not very familiar. Um, but those are some of my watch lists right there. Evans, through Nice Hash. I mean, I looked a bunch of other ones, but so let's take a look at. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, gold and silver have just not performed. Uh, Neo didn't really perform that well this cycle. If if the cycle is done, now I would say like if we do go below, so there, there's still like a glimmer of hope right now. I mean, if if we get close above here, we're just going to be in consolidation for the next year for the and then go up on a third leg. But if we go below, I mean obviously this is a bear market. It's going to be another six months to a year. But yeah, at this point. It's not, it's not such a bad thing, you know. <laughs> We've already lost, you know, 50% of our value in Bitcoin alone, 70 to 80 to 90% in the altcoins. That's that's a bear market, right? Um, let's see. I wanted to see how from our top to our bottom. Yeah, let's see. We got down to 60%. About. About sixty, about sixty percent from our all-time high. Um, if we go down to twenty k, that's like seventy percent. And then if you go to ten k, that's eighty percent, which is about where the last market went. But let's let's just see. Um, from twenty k, we went down to. And this is these are numbers you need to prepare for, and this is like why I'm like. Whatever projects you're going to stick around with, realize they're going to still get hit, and realize that some of them just will die. It, you know, some of these projects just won't survive. We went down like 85 percent from last all-time high, down to the 3K level. Um, now, if we do that same thing, let's say 80 percent or 80 to 5, 80, 85 percent down from all-time high. Bear with me. Come on, there we go. Well, that puts us at 10 or 11K. 
you just gotta be prepared for that. Um, I just yeah, there would be so much buying for it. Like the only way that would happen is if like literally depression era stuff happened. Like we literally get a depression right now, and we go to world war. But they're going to be print a lot of money in a world war, so that doesn't make sense. It just would take a lot for us to go to these levels. So it's very more, much more likely, in my opinion, that we continue to go sideways for the next few months, and then we have a rally probably around Christmas. You know, 2023 probably is a good year, or hell, maybe we just start really rallying quick. I mean, maybe we hit an all-time high. Even I, I, th I think it's. Probably a good chance that we hit 50, 60k. It, it, it all hap It all comes down to right now. Like this week, weekly close will decide literally the rest of this year. So if we hold cold above, that's going to create confidence. It's a blood moon tonight. Stocks have been getting hammered. Nasdaq's down 40 percent. I mean, everything is down so hard. So that's where I'm at. So basically, we close above 50, 60k is in, is it is in play for the year. 2023 probably all time high. Close below. Go down to the 20k. We'll be beat around here for a few months. You're looking at a four year cycle. You're looking at not seeing these all time highs for another year, maybe more. So that's where it's at. McGarris Solway wants to say like we're gonna go down to 10k, 20k. I don't think so, but that's that's where I'm at. Let's hope uh, we close above 30K and see what happens. Enjoy y'all Sunday, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip. Maybe I'll come back on later tonight and kind of watch and see what happens. Peace.